watching my channel. I didn't expect to be doing a video today, but there is a new I Love Spring book tag going around, and it's quite short, and most importantly, it's one of the rare book tags that I have enough books actually to do. So we're going to get on to the question number one. Question number one is what is spring like where you live? And I live in Japan where spring is really quite an exciting time of year. It kind of starts in February with the arrival of the plum blossoms, but it's still very cold. And then in March right now you get the, the spring storms. It's very windy. It's really windy today actually. But uh, in March the first of the cherry blossoms start to, to bloom, there is the um, Kawazu Zakura who, which bloom about one month before the Some, I forget the name of the main ones but they don't bloom for a few more weeks yet and there's lots of kind of festivals to celebrate them, it's graduation time for lots of schools so you see lots of um, teenagers walking around in kimono or uh, these sort of, um, what are they called? Nagaso, they, they wear these like kimono with long sleeves or sometimes they wear these sort of two-part kimonos where on the top they wear like the um, the crossed kimono top and then on the bottom they wear hakama which are these kind of um, kalots, like these really long kalots with um, pleats at the back and the front but they look awesome. Question number two is what is your most anticipated book of spring and for me it is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tukolk. Tukolke. I'm not quite sure how to say the last name but it looks really interesting, kind of a dark romance. I've requested it on NetGalley so fingers crossed NetGalley. For number three I have to show you a book cover that reminds me of spring and there's no question about it that Ignite Me by Tahera Mafi, or I've been saying Tahera Mafi, but apparently that's wrong, so forgive me. Um, Ignite Me definitely is full of spring, and also Cruel by Jessica Alvin. I think that's very spring-like also. Question number four is where will you be reading this spring? And I am going to be reading hopefully on buses between different cities as I travel about Japan. I want to go to Hiroshima and Kyoto. I've been to Kyoto before but I'm going back again so I'd quite like to hopefully stay in a capsule hotel and read in a capsule hotel. Maybe even do a video in a capsule hotel although it would be very echoey. We'll see what happens. Number five is find a book cover with a sun on it and this one is a little bit more difficult. So I've gone with something that kind of makes me think of the sun, it's a little bit representative, representative of the sun. and. Uh, Alright, well I could go for Australia for the sun, but I'm not going to because we are looking at fiction, I think. So I'm going to go with Holes by Louis Sacker since it's in the desert and the desert is of course a very sunny place. And um, I actually also have it in Japanese, but it's a much less sunny cover. Japanese book covers are really kind of dark and somber and you should see this is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Japanese cover. Look, look. They're very dark and gloomy. Question number six, and I've realised I've been doing this for the whole visit video, so I should be on Sesame Street, really. If you didn't know what six fingers look like, children, this is six fingers. <clears throat> yes, I'm putting my hands behind my back very deliberately now. Um, number six is what are your favourite spring reads? And I quite like to read contemporary in spring, something a bit lighter. So, you know, Rainbow Rowell maybe? Rainbow Rowell. But actually the ones I'm thinking most that I would like to read in spring are Stephanie Perkins. I don't own any Stephanie Perkins apart from on my Kindle, which is over there somewhere, and I'm not going to go get it. But contemporary is good for spring. Number seven is find a book with many different colours on it and for that I've chosen one that I haven't actually hauled yet. It is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki and as you can see, very colourful, lots of different colours, back, front, colour. So that's the end of the actual questions, but Cassidy Von Shea did something I like where she mentioned something she loved about spring and for her it was candles, I'll link her video below, for her it was candles, for me I have to go with nail polish because it's pretty much my favourite part of any season and for spring I love Jasper by Butter London. 
Trout Pout by Butter London and You're Such a Budapest by OPI but I'm not wearing any of them because I don't feel the weather deserves it. Until the wind lets up I'm not rewarding you with my nice nail polish. That told the weather. So that's it for the tag. All that remains is for me to tag some people myself. And again, I'm quite new. I don't really know many people, but there are four people I realize that I have exchanged words with more than once. Types, words, you know what I'm saying. And they are Elizabeth Olsen. I'm looking at a piece of paper over there to check. Elizabeth Olsen, she of the awesome Star Wars t-shirt. Um, Bookish and Nerdy, who's book giveaway I won and those books actually arrived today and I'll be hauling them and talking about them and gushing over them. Um, we Love Books, I have spoken to We Love Books before and Cozy Tea Reads, I'm sure you've been tagged a billion times already but I tag you also and um, yeah, fun tag. I'll link the original tag video below or the original video, whoever made it. Who was it? It was Amanda and Helen. It will be linked below, trust me. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a beautiful spring day and see you in the next video.